Hey everybody, welcome back to Zephyr's Travels. In this video, we're gonna show you the differences between the 2020 Rad Minis that we have here and the 2018 Rad Minis that we used to have. We'll also show you some of the differences between the women's step-through bike that Diane's got and is very excited about, and the men's boys bike, I guess, for a better term. I don't quite know what the right name for that is. I'm sure there's a, a step-over bike, maybe. I don't know. But anyways, we're gonna kind of show you some of the differences. And even between these two bikes, there's significant differences that you would be surprised about. Um, so we're gonna go over that and hopefully give you some great information on these bikes. We're also gonna show you some of the things that we've done to them bikes, some of the mods that we've added to it that we think every bike should have. And we're really surprised that Rad doesn't even, doesn't include some of these mods with the bike, but we'll show you them. Right, so one of the biggest changes you're going to see on the new 2020 Rad Minis is right here in the back. There's no rack on these bikes. The 2018 Rad Minis that we had before came standard with a rear rack. But now for this year, you get fenders. Um, I think the fenders are nice. I thought the bike looked great without the fenders, but I think the, the functionality of having these fenders is good because you're going to ride these things a lot. You're going to get into wet weather and you're going to want to be able to make sure you don't get that mud streak up the, up your back from the tires. So I think the fenders are a good thing and it really does help the looks of Diane's bike. I think it, her bike really looks pretty classy with the fenders. But I do miss the rack and I really you know I enjoyed having the rack on here and putting a bag on it and having a spot to carry the chargers, my camera gear, you know and other things like that. So that's one of the things I do miss and wish the bike had. another bike ride, this time along Roosevelt Highway and stopped at two roadside fruit stands or markets. We bought corn and apples and cookies and bread and I think that's about it. Another big change on the Rad Minis for 2020 are the tires. In fact, between these two bikes there's a big significant difference in tires. So this is the tire that Rad switched to, I think, in 2019, um, at least on the step through. And maybe on the um, step over, they had a, the more aggressive tire. But our bike had a fairly aggressive tire on it. It was actually like an off-road tire. And it was a little bit larger than this. It was a, a four-inch tire, where these, this is a 3.3-inch tire, and this is a three-inch tire. Now, when we ordered these bikes, I got an email from Rad while I was waiting for the bikes to come in saying that they've run out of these tires and so they're switching to these CST Big Bolts. Now I really like the Kenya tires on the bikes. I think they're a great tire. They've got a lot of tread on them and, and you know able to allow you to ride on multiple surfaces like streets and beaches and you know dirt paths and such. So I really did like this tire and even this tire here is a, is, a, is a pretty decent tire. But this switch to these CST Big Bolts, I'm very, very disappointed in. If you look at the tread, there's, there's very little tread on these. Now they say this tire will perform just as well as this tire, but I don't believe it. This tire has got very little tread on it. It's very slick. It's really a street tire. It's also narrower. As you can see, it's 0.3 narrower, but you can notice that that's significant. And then when you compare this to the 4-inch tires that were on the bikes, on the 2018 bikes that we had, which had a much more aggressive tread on them, you can see that there's just, I just, these just don't match up. Now they did do some nice things on them, on both of them. They do have the reflective strips on both bikes. The Kenya tires have a much nicer looking reflective strip. It's, you know, cleaner looking and straighter lines. This one's kind of fuzzy looking and it doesn't look as good, but 
you know, the reflective as aspect of this strip is really good because it, you know, it takes the place of having those little reflectors that tend to fall off on your spokes and it gives you really good visibility at night. So I do like that. Also on the front of bikes, you notice the headlight. Now they made a change to this headlight. I'm going to actually turn them on. This headlight is much brighter and it has this ring around it, which is like a daylight feature, which makes these lights really visible when you're riding during the day. I've really noticed this, we were riding along a uh, country road and it was fairly busy. And so I, we decided we wanted to turn the headlights on. And I really noticed when I look back at Diane's bike, I could really see that light shining. So I think that's a great safety feature and something that you really want to take advantage of with these bikes is run your headlights when you can if you're on a busy road. Um, the visibility is, is much more improved. One other change that Rad's made to these bikes is the taillights. The 2018 Rad Minis that we had, the taillights were battery operated and you had to turn them on manually. These taillights are connected into the battery of the bike and you can see down here it has the red part lit up because the headlights are on. But what's also nice is they have a brake light feature and I don't know if you can see this because we're into the sun, but you can see that the taillights will light up quite bright red for braking, which is another great safety feature. I really like this and you do have the option of turning them into a flash mode so that you can see them you know while you're riding during the day you know just draw more attention to the bike so a couple of nice features about that I really like that weight is <laughs> slowing my bike down that and you're so much lighter that you can zip up these hills. Wow, the throttle helps. There are a few design changes with the bikes compared to the 2018s. One of them is this control module here is now mounted to the frame where the 2018s it was actually boxed in underneath here. Position of the battery on the Rad Mini step through is now in front of the seat post instead of behind, like it is on, on the Rad Mini step over. The Rad Mini step through has a spot for a water bottle, and we were able to get a bracket here to add to that, so we liked this setup. This bike, the Rad Mini step over, does not have a spot for a water bottle, so you know we need to come up with another solution for that, and we're working on that. The paint finish on the bikes, they've really kind of stepped up their game a little bit. The decals and this section here of gray, which is like a scuff point, um, which I think is pretty nice. The white on this bike compared to the 2018s, this is actually a flat white, um, where the 2018s had a metallic white. So it's a slightly different look to the bike. I like that. I like this look. I think this is a very classy looking bike with the fenders and such. I really appreciate that. One of the big differences that we've noticed between the step through and the step over bike is the seat height. Now on the step through bike, this post is much lower. And so it allows a shorter person to easily ride this bike, hence the step through part two. And if you notice here, the Diane actually has her seat up about three inches. On the step over bike, when she rode it, her seat height was right at the post, all the way down. So you can see there's probably about a three, almost a three inch drop in the frame on this bike, which is nice. We've also noticed that the seat post is longer. This is at full extension. And this height here is probably two inches, almost two inches higher than what the bike was before, which is, Maybe not so important on the step through model for Diane, but on this bike, I needed that extra couple inches over the 2018 bike. So this is actually a little bit more comfortable ride for me. 
So one of the updates that we've made to these bikes is adding the rear view mirror. You can see here on Diane's bike, we've got it coming off the end of the handlebars and the same on my bike. This is a big safety improvement that we feel the bike should have had coming from the factory. Uh, we've added them to all our bikes, even the 2018s. Now you could actually put one on each side if you wanted to, but we feel that having it on the left side makes the most sense. They've also changed the throttle on the bikes. The 2018s had an on-off switch on the throttle where the new bikes now have a throttle that is um, basically not switched, so it's active all the time. The, I don't know if there's an advantage or disadvantage to that. Um, I do know that Diane never used a throttle before because we basically kept it switched off. She's now using it a little bit more, so maybe it's a good thing for her. So besides the rear view mirror, a couple other mods that we've done to the bikes is a cell phone holder at least on my bike i've got a cell phone holder and i have a camera mount here that allows me to carry uh, a dji osmo on here which i use for filming when we're riding quite a bit other than that the bikes have not changed significantly they still have the front suspension that was new to the 2018s and the battery is still the same size folding uh, capability here in the center plus the pedals um, folding in and the handlebars flipping down so a lot of that stuff hasn't changed we really like I really like the bikes I'm glad we updated our bikes because I think there's some you know the safety things with having the tail light and the brake light on them is, is worth it the fenders are a nice touch um, but I do miss the rack and I am very disappointed in the tires well that concludes our comparison of the rad mini be between the 2018 and the 2020 models I hope you learned and got some good information out of this. If you have any questions, please leave us a comment and I, we'd love to hear from you. So I guess now the only thing left to do is to go for a test ride. While I do that, you make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications, give us a thumbs up if you like this video, and we will see you down the road. Make sure I got my helmet. Take care, everybody. We'll see you next time.